trying to get healthier, uh, so I've been jogging uh, to my drug dealer's house, and <laughs> I go, and I get my drug, and then I do them, and then I run home, like, even faster, because I, I, purple pandas are chasing me, and uh, just the weight comes right off. I was in LA last month, and I had a friend of mine buy me a bunch of, like, weed Jolly Ranchers, and I was like, oh my god, I have some time to kill. I'll just like eat half of one before I go to the airport. And so of course, as my bag is going through security is when the candy hits me and like my legs sort of like turn to jello as I'm going through it. And I started panicking that like, I was gonna like locked up abroad style. I was gonna get like arrested for having six sweet Jolly Ranchers in my purse. Like not a big deal, right? So my bag makes it through, nobody notices. And then I out loud said something that I've never said in my life. I went, booyah, like that. <laughs> and grab my bag. So if nobody knew I was on drugs before, they certainly knew now, because who the fuck says booyah? Except for somebody who is a drug dealer. Um, I'm not a drug dealer, just user. Uh, I am getting to that age though, like, like in your like, late 20s, early, th and there's like a couple of 14 year olds here, but um, <laughs> little life lesson when you get to be late 20s early 30s and your friends start to you know like own homes and have like dishes that match you know like all show offs and shit i don't know if i can bring weed to parties you know what i mean like i don't know what kind of party it's gonna be so i always put a little bit of weed in my purse just in case they're cool and i wait till about 11 and i kind of like take the weed out of my purse and i test the waters and i put it on the coffee table i'm like are we cool oh we're, we're not cool Cool, not cool, cool, not cool, cool. And then I just like throw it there and walk away and see what happens. There's always this one girl who like grabs her Vera Bradley purse and clutches it to her chest and she's like, ah, I wanna do a drugs. I'm like, you just drank like a whole jug of wine. Like why are you, it's just weed, it's not Coke. I wouldn't waste my Coke on you losers. Like <laughs> relax, right? So. My friend who owns the house, he used to be my drug dealer in college, right? So he pulls me aside and he's like, listen, listen, I still smoke weed. It's just my wife. She doesn't allow me to smoke it in the house, but I can, I'm allowed to smoke it in the garage. And I'm like, what the fuck are you, what do you mean you're allowed? You own the house, your wife doesn't even work. You know what I mean? Like, isn't that a perk of being a homeowner that you can smoke anywhere that you want without having to towel a door? You can smoke weed in the bathroom. You can smoke weed in the bed. You can smoke weed in the baby's room. You can get in the crib. You can get in the crib with your baby, be like, baby, hold my bong, you know? And like, I don't know, I don't own a baby or a house, but I assume that's one of the cool things about, so when they came to my apartment and his wife took out her phone, she's like, oh my God, do you want to see like pictures of me and like the kids at Disney World? I was like, ugh, ugh, ugh. We only do that in the garage. We only look at stupid photos of your stupid family in the garage. So I took her out to the garage and I, um, I turned on my car and I locked the windows and the doors and I shoved her in there and now she's dead. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding, I don't have a car or garage, but I did kill her and she's now gone.